forbidden door and pace. If I were to describe this course in one word on the I would say it is emancipating, transformational, transformative. Awesome! <laughs> the power of networking. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. <laughs> it has been life changing. Life changing. A freaking amazing. What we'd like you to do. So the course is for people like us uh, who do academic development in other institutions. So they're for staff developers, but they're also for people who do student development. Um, and the field is quite big, you know, it's quite diverse. It's about staff development, student development, curriculum development, um, and also more broadly institutional development. Uh, so the aim of this course is to prepare people in our field uh, to do, you know, the jobs that we do. Uh, and the reason why there's a need for this course is because um, people come into the field of academic development from a whole range of different fields. And, there's, and as far as we know, this is the only formal program um, for, you know, for inducting people into the field of, of academic development. Uh, the history text. So I think the, the first thing that, that has really opened my eyes is to really take a new set of lenses to look at higher education. And I think that's the first thing that they taught us as well. If you are analysing your own context, if you're analysing higher education, go and look at the structures, the culture and the agency. So that framework for me was really, really helpful. It has um, given me what I call intellectual freedom. It has been truly life-changing. Um, I see things now through a different light and it has changed the way I also do things um, in my own sphere as an academic leader. So all the people who attend our course come from most universities across South Africa and they are all in similar centres to ours but very few of them have actually had any um, qualification or formal induction into the field. So that's what we do in the course. Ever since I started doing the, job, the, the course, I realized that uh, I've got a much more bigger responsibility than just being um, a developer. I've realized now that there are spaces where I can influence the way things are currently done. Uh, there is a space for improvement. There is a space for growth, not just for me, but also for the team as a whole. Anupuna, yes, but in Verupom, Verupom, uh, the minds are dominating there. And through participating in this um, uh, course, I've, I've, I've realized that, that my eyes have been opened to a new world, a world um, in which higher education uh, um, has changed very much um, and that we need to change with that, that we need to make provision for including um, other people, other cultures. So we started first year in a small group and then um, going back to the university there we have the opportunity to take that to a broader group. Workshop. In the past um, um, have a different approach to our workshops. Now we reflect while we are within the workshops as well uh, and we create spaces for our lecturers to also do, do so. So in essence it is that relationship of trust that you also have built up being fellow students that is one dimension of it but also having a shared understanding that I can trust my colleague. I know more or less where they come from. I know that within a workshop we've got the same sort of viewpoints, we've got the same values rather, and the principles from where we depart, and we support one another in that as well. But we were even thinking the process was taking too long. And what we think is really important is that this induction happens in a, a very systematic way. Of course, people are inducted into the field. Um, you know, when they come into teaching and learning centres in their various institutions. But the induction is, is sometimes quite haphazard. Um, it happens on the job, it happens through mentoring, through coaching. 
Um, and this course, uh, we think, um, fills a particular niche um, because we induct people not only into the sort of history um, and the theory of academic development, but also into academic development practices, as I say, in, in quite a systematic way. As students having trouble doing, uh, representing their learning in a reflective as well as academic uh, and, and combining those two things. One really starts to look at what the student is, or rather who the student is, and how one can support the student as a better as well. Your ship will be ahead of the <laughs> So it's quite a long immersion, rather than just a quick sort of workshop or a course or something. And we feel that you know, we really are contributing to building the field of academic development. And we hope ultimately contributing to improving teaching and learning in higher education.